Hi, I'm Steve Christensen, a member of the Young Ophthalmologist Committee, and I'm joined today by Dr. Aaron Holtebeck. Dr. Holtebeck is a comprehensive ophthalmologist in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and he participated in a panel in our Yo Learning Lounge discussing wise ways to spend your time and your money when building a practice. Dr. Holtebeck, thanks for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me. First, let's talk just briefly about time, a valuable resource of which we all wish that we had more. What do you believe are some wise ways that we can spend our time when building a practice? Well, it, time is a precious resource for all of us. And you know, when you're, when you're starting out, there are, some time, there are some instances where you actually have more time than, than you will later in practice. And it really depends on the type of practice that you're joining. You know, if, if you're joining a practice that has referrals that are from you know, medical doctors that participates in an IPA or another healthcare organization, uh, taking time to introduce yourself to those medical doctors, those primary care doctors, is a, a great way to spend time early on. Uh, sometimes it means uh, spending time talking to the optometrists in your area in, in some, some practices. You know, in an academic center, you know, of course, you know, your op referrals may be from ophthalmologists and you know, getting to know the ophthalmologists in your community uh, is, is a good idea for, for, uh, for any of us, though, really, regardless of, of uh, what practice style you're in. And what about money? You finish training, you get your first job, suddenly you have a little surplus, a little extra income. What are some ways that would be wise for you to spend your money when you're building your practice? Uh, well, you know, money uh, certainly is important to uh, spend a little time and money on yourself, uh, you know, because we're all, you know, busy. It's, it's not a bad idea to, you know, take time away and, you know, rest and relax occasionally. Um, when talking about, you know, money to buy into a practice, uh, that often is dictated by the practice. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's a lot, sometimes it's a little, um, uh, you know, being aware of what else is involved in that practice, whether that's a surgery center that, uh, you know, may require capital to buy into. Um, it, it's, it's important to have, you know, good people to help you out when you're talking about big purchases like that, whether that's, you know, financial advisors or uh, accountants. You know, having a team around you uh, to, to have that kind of help when you're talking about big expenditures uh, is crucial, uh, having, having that team on your side, people that you relate well to and trust. And probably the combination of investing time and money would be in the acquisition of a new skill or learning a new technique where maybe you need to take a day or two off from your clinic or surgery schedule to go and observe or learn a new technique or a new skill and uh, that's, a, that's a financial uh, sacrifice but then there's also the time that you invest in learning that new skill. So could you touch base, touch just briefly on learning a new technique, a new skill. You're a comprehensive ophthalmologist, but what specific new techniques have you needed to learn maybe that you weren't taught during your formal training? Sure, and that's, and that's gonna be true for, for many of us because uh, you know, learning is lifelong. And so uh, there are techniques and things you know, surgically uh, that, that change uh, that may not, be, uh, may not be around while you train, but are, are when you're in practice. Um, you know, in my case, you know, many of the you know, newer MIGS procedures uh, and cataract surgery, uh, you know, there weren't nearly as many options. And those were new techniques that I became familiar with and were a great addition to, you know, my repertoire of surgery uh, to treat, you know, treat glaucoma and, uh, and better treat my, you know, cataract surgery patients. Um, but, you know, many things evolve as time goes on. So taking time to pay attention to those new uh, new advances and new technologies is, is, is crucial as well. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.